What's going on boys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a Rude Hullet player review. It's actually the baby version that's currently in uh, Icon Swaps at the moment. Um, honestly, I decided to do him uh, because obviously there's a lot of hype around the card at the moment. And uh, last year, it was one of my favourite players in the game. I played over a, a thousand games of this card. absolutely loved him and uh, I haven't actually used him yet in this FIFA, so I thought... I can try him out and also I can get a review out of him so it's a win-win situation um, there's my team if anybody cares uh, yes that is Kent off Kem but we all know Kent is the lord and saviour in foot champs and in rivals to be fair but yeah if you do uh, enjoy this video please do leave it a like and if you're new here subscribe to my channel put in the comments down below anyone you want reviewed and I'll get right to it but yeah let's get straight into the in games so guys now into the in games very, very, very all-round card. A little bit strange in my opinion that they don't make Hullet a part of the Hullet gang. Even on his baby card, they could have just upped the physical by two. Gave him a couple of jumping, a couple of stamina. That wouldn't hurt anybody, but yeah, I suppose that makes it more desirable to get his mid, prime and primer, etc. But yeah, nonetheless, let's get straight into it. So for pace, he's got 80 overall. He has 77 acceleration, 82 sprint speed, which is very decent for a centre mid. Shooting, he has 80 overall. He's got 83 positioning, 76 finishing, 84 shot power, 80 long shots, 83 volleys, 84 penalties. For passing, he's got 86 overall. For vision, he's got 89. Crossing, 84. Free kick, accuracy, 84. Short passing, 85. Long passing, 87. And curve, 85. Again, very, very all round, very decent pass in there. Dribbling, he's got 82 overall. He has 74 agility, also 78 balance, 82 reactions, 87 ball control, 80 dribbling, and 94 composure. Now, for defending, he's got 83 overall. He's got 84 interceptions, 87 head and accuracy, 81 defensive awareness, 84 stand and tackle, and 80 slide and tackle. Physicality, he's got 78 overall, 74 jumping, 78 stamina, 82 strength, and 67 aggression. So, yeah, guys, overall, very, very round card. A few things here that are a bit troubling for me. Stamina, 78. Agility, 74. Balance, 78. Um, Hullet is also quite a tall player at 6 foot 3, so having agility and balance quite low is not the greatest thing to see. And also 78 stamina on a centre mid isn't the greatest either because how I use my centre mids, they're very up and down the pitch, supporting the attack and the defence and I need a lot of stamina for that personally. But yeah, he does have three star skills. He's got the five star weak foot, which, which is nice. He is right footed, six foot three. He does have medium, medium work rates and for traits he has power header, playmaker and leadership. But yeah guys, that's all for the in-games. Let's get straight into the clips. So yeah guys, straight into the clips now. Um, obviously I did say at the start of the video I played over a thousand games of this card. So I somewhat knew what to expect in this FIFA. Obviously every FIFA is different. But again, most players do feel quite similar to they did since last FIFA. Especially as uh, icons don't change. <laughs> Unless they're obviously primers now. But yeah, again, very all-round card, and that's what you can expect from all-round decent performance. Attack and wise and defensive. But yeah, speak about some of the clips. Decent position there, offloads the ball nicely. Again, continues his run. I should have probably shot there, but I passed stupidly. But again, he is making the runs. Most of the time, I'm not pressing L1X either, he just makes the runs on his own. Again, got the pace there just to sprint through the midfield. Wasn't getting caught. Again, maybe passing there was the bad option. But yeah, nonetheless still did it. Decent position in there. And this just ran through the midfield and through his back line and just smashed it. Obviously, five-star weak foot, you can hit it on either foot and does not matter. Lovely goal there. Nice to get goals with your centre mid. You don't really expect goals from them, but yeah, that's a penalty somehow. I shot, he made the tackle, thought honestly he won the ball, perfectly fine, but they give a pen, so got to take it I suppose, goal's a goal, take it of Hullet, because he won it, straight down the middle, 
Lovely. Now it's Essien. Aiden has it. Decent tackle there from Hollett. Excellent attacking play here. Nice little one twos. His tackle actually leads to a goal. Which is very decent. You want him to be making tackles in the midfield. Especially when you need him, and honestly he's always there. Nice bomb and run there. Decent pass. And return to Hullet. Decent dribble in there, bounces off a player nicely, left foot. Yes, Stager manages to make the save. Unreal keeper. Oh, it left us in. How was this offside? His player's foot was further than mine. I honestly couldn't understand how it was offside, but yeah. Anyone knows, let me know. Nice bit of dribbling from Hullet here. Off flows to Mane, and another decent save from Ter Stegen. He is honestly the Terminator in goal, you cannot get past him. Nice bit of dribbling, draws the free kick there. Again, the agility and balance being low, his dribbling for me was actually quite decent, to be fair. Manages to bob him with a few players. He won the free kick, so we've got a bit of him on it, right? Free kick stats are actually pretty decent, to be fair, as well, so... Well placed, and his player actually heads it out. <laughs> Damn it. I thought it coming back out to him. Have to hit it first time. Lovely interception there. Actually, a, a flying kick for an interception. Don't see that every day, but yeah, decent. Lovely one twos there. Build up the play. Lovely pass there from Morsic. It's in from Manic. Again, that all came from Hullet's interception from midfield there. Again, he's got the pace just to run through midfield. See, if his defender wasn't there, that was straight through. Most likely led to a goal. But yeah, he got very lucky with that. Nice little one-twos. Lovely goal there from Hullet. Again, he just makes those runs. But yeah, guys, that is the end of the uh, clips. Into the pros and cons. Um, as you can see there, a lot more pros and cons, which again... Is what you like to see and obviously you do expect it from a card for this sort of cost and for this sort of grind but yeah straight into his first pro uh, positioning for me um obviously attacking positioning was very very decent for me he made really good runs even without triggering the um l1x he always seemed to make the nice runs always seemed to be there for a pass which is a uh, yeah which is definitely a pro for me Another pro being passing, it is 86, and he also has the five-star weak foot, so it does not matter which foot you pass with, it's always going to go where you where you hit it, which again is very decent. Made a lot of passes with him, a lot of decent passes with him to be fair, so yeah, pro for me. Another one, pace. Obviously 80 isn't a whole lot for a striker, but for me as a centre mid slash CDM, 80 is way more than enough. Um, a lot of times in this recording, I was just bombing through the midfield with him, just in a straight line, just pacing through everyone, which again is very decent. Composure, his composure is so high, and you can definitely feel it. Doesn't ruin any shots, doesn't ruin any passes. So it's very composed. Obviously, it is 94 as standard, which you can definitely trust that, especially when you really need him. Weak foot, five star. Not many players have it. Very helpful. More helpful for a striker. But again, as a midfielder, he still does take shots and he has to pass as well. So having the five-star weak foot means you can hit the shots and passes. And you haven't got to worry about the uh, passes or shots going astray, which is very, very decent. I picked position again. I meant to pick defensive positioning. But yeah, he, was, he made the runs in attack and was also tracking back as well to make tackles and make interceptions in a... Uh, my final third as well, which is very helpful. And uh, yeah, does help me out a lot. And last one being tackling. His tackling for me is very decent. Um, he is tall, does have decent strength and decent tackling. And those all combined just means when he goes in for a tackle, nine times out of ten he does come out with the ball, which again is very, very decent. But yeah, overall, a lot of pros with him there. And again, it's what you expect. Does have a few cons, unfortunately. But yeah, one of them being balance. It is quite low and he is quite tall, so you do feel him a bit clunky. And another one to couple with that is agility. They're both quite low, 174 and 178. And he is six foot three, so 
when you are turning quickly, you do feel him feeling a bit clunky. Or when you're sprinting and you try to turn, again, does feel quite stiff slash clunky. Which, again, you do you do expect. But for me, it is still a pro, um, con, even. And uh, you see there an all-bold writing, stamina. Oh, see, for me, he would be my absolute perfect centre mid if he just had some more stamina. He lasts until about 75th minute slash 80th if you're lucky and um, for someone for this cost slash grind that is for me a very big con you have to sub him off every game you also have to put a fitness on him every every game as well which most players you don't it's, it's a real shame to be honest if he had like maybe 5 more stamina he would last a full game and it would be for me it, probably a 9.7 9.8 honestly the agility and balance I can get over, but the stamina for me is a big issue. But yeah, guys, I did give a 9.4 out of 10. Like I said just a second ago, if he did have more stamina, it would definitely be a lot higher because for me, he is so, so good. He is 820,000 on PlayStation currently and 789,000 on Xbox, which is obviously quite expensive, but it is Hullet and that does come with a price. But yeah, I'd say overall, I would definitely grind him in the icon swaps, but I do not think he's worth 820,000 coins. Um, I will be grinding for him personally, for my account. I'm a little bit hullet biased, so take that in, into consideration. But yeah, I definitely think he's worth the grind, but not worth the coins. But yeah, guys, we are coming to the end of the review now. If you did enjoy this review, I've got anything out of it, please do leave a like. It does really help me out. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below who you want reviewed next and I'll get right to it. But anyways guys, see you in the next video. Peace.